when I came to the cathedral, um, everyone said, you know, it's nice to have someone to do something to St. John the Unfinished. I said, well, that's not a very nice thing. You know, cathedrals take a hell of a long time to get built. And um, <clears throat> he said, well, are you going to do something about that? And I said, yeah. What I really want to do is to... Something that was rather radical. Um, stone carving in America was a dead art. And so many of the great buildings that were put up in the 19th century and the first part of the 20th century um, <clears throat> had carved, carved parts, like great um, entryways and that sort of thing. And then Pope, with the modern movement, um, that, was, that was dead. And <clears throat> What happened to me was um, I was lucky enough after I graduated from Harvard where I was studying architecture because I wanted to be an architect, um, I got a scholarship to go to England, two cathedrals in particular in England which had never been finished, um, continued the old method of building cathedrals which was to have a stone yard right there and train young men, no women. Um, that was another thing I did. I got women in it. Yes, you did. Um, <laughs> um, to, well, to, to train by older stone um, masons the art, the traditional art of stone masonry. And so I, I, I just said, I really want to continue building the cathedral. I said, let's start it again. But we have to start it by training young Americans to be stonecutters. And since we're on the edge of Harlem, what would be a very interesting thing to do would be to train young guys from Harlem to be stonecutters. So having black stonecutters was an amazing reality. So that was <laughs> really quite a radical shift in how you build a cathedral. You do it by training young people, men and women, to become stonecutters. And, and that's what we did.